Hi guys. I found myself with a couple of pallets and wanted to make something from them. So I took them all apart and then I got myself some angle iron, some straight iron and cut to length pieces I needed for the sides and the uprights. Marked out a V on one side of the angle iron and a V on the opposite side. Then I cut part way through on where the V center is so I was able to bend the angle iron at 90 degrees and then I would weld the joints. There you have them. I cut out some struts to go across, welded those on, then put the base in, put the sides on, measured out the sides first, then I put biscuits and joined them together, sanded them down. I didn't want to sand the outside too much because I wanted them to, to look rough and and used. Then I measured the uh, width ready for the lid then transferred these measurements onto a piece of paper and then from the center I come down one and a half inches this is where I put the compass because I didn't want a full half circle I wanted it a little bit shallower so from that point I drew a half circle down to the line which was which would be the bottom part of the lid. Then I divided that into 15 equal parts and drew lines. Then I measured the straight line between each point. I put the measurement down and then added all of these measurements up which would give me the length of the the angle line I needed all the way around the edge of the lid. Then I added all of these together to come up with a total and then I added an extra 10 mil each side just to give me a little bit extra which I could always cut off if I didn't need it but it was there now as you can see from the measurements I added it up a second time just to be sure I was I'd got the right figure measure twice cut once added 22 it and as you can see I came up with with 10 less than I should have done uh, because I was thinking of adding 10 each side but I, I did cut at the right figure in the end. Then taking all the measurements off of the diagram, I transferred those onto the angle iron, starting from the center, working outwards. And then with these measurements, the, the angles that for each one, because there was 15 slots in, the angle for each one was 12 mil so cutting around 6 mil each side of the center line on these V's doing a similar thing to what I did with the angle line for the box area then part way cut you can see I'm part way cut through on the other side
it just makes it easier to bend otherwise you wouldn't be able to to bend it it's three I think it's three mil thick this this end line and one inch each side and then gradually on each of the cuts is to, is to pull it and bend it I didn't pull it fully all the way closed straight away I want to do do this gradually so it became it became an even bend all the way around so you just keep going if you've cut through enough it should be quite easy to to bend without a great deal of effort as you can see I'm not putting too much effort into this and I'll continue doing that until I've got the right bend that I need and then check this against the diagram that you have and there you go it fits then I need to weld them up when you weld in the heat will make them the iron move so I'll put screws in either side to hold it all in place so that it doesn't lose its shape then I'll, I'll weld all of these up and grind them, grind them down flat. And obviously I have to do this twice. There we go. And they should both be exactly the same size. Having made up the box, I've added more struts going across, joined them all up, welded, ground them down, done the same with the, the lid, putting struts across, the lip on the box is too high but it does help to hold it all in place while you measure everything and and I will plane that down a little bit later you can see I've, I've put these cross members on welded them in place and everything is in line and fits which is great Um, I'm going to put a centre line around all of the angle iron because I'm going to put pins in to make them look like rivets. Now you need to work out how many rivets you want on each side and work them out evenly. on all the pieces of metal so I've drilled holes which will take the pins You can see on the right hand side and across here I put the pins and they, they look like rivets are pretty good and on the top I'll be screwing the top pieces of wood in so the holes are, are bigger that allow for the screws to be um, sunken in As you can see there's a screw in there and the pin will be taken off will be cut off and the cap just glued on on the top 
on the sides you don't need to screw in every hole and you can see the biscuit cuts where I'll be putting the biscuits gluing the all these bits of wood together to form the top now all cut each side of these thin strips are cut at 12 degrees because I've got 15 pieces in if you have more pieces the angle will be slightly different and I've screwed every single one in and uh, a cap will be glued onto, onto the top of each of those screws that's the inside of the few of the four strips of wood I've got in at the moment and because they're the correct angle they all meet on the inside as well now this is the finished top and the finished box and this is with the the uh, catch on the front I've got hinges on the back and again um, I put covers on the screws to, to make it look as though it's been riveted on same with the hinges cast iron handles as well put a slight stain on on and obviously sprayed the all the angle iron and the rivets um, in one go and that's it hope that helps you to make your own and um, I look forward to seeing them thanks for watching